works really well with people who are like single and they're at home, yeah. they're alone, they don't, don't have anything to do, do anything, yeah. they don't have kids that they're chasing around all day. So they've got a free 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Kutcher is an American model, actor, entrepreneur, and TV host. Ashton Kutcher's career has spanned the fashion runway, TV sitcoms, feature films, and one extremely popular hidden camera prank show. He first became famous thanks to that 70s show and parlayed that fame into a moderately successful film career. He made his film debut in the romantic comedy Coming Soon, followed by the comedy film Dude Where's My Car, which was a box office hit. Today he's perhaps better known as a technology investor. He's the recipient of various accolades, including a People's Choice Award and nominations for two Young Artist Awards, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and a Critics' Choice Movie Award. Age in there. And so we did like one architecture lesson. We did one energy, energy recyclable lesson. energy. Cookies, we baked sustainability. cookies. We baked cookies for one. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. My name is Christopher Ashton Kutcher, but is also known as Ash and Kutch. He was born February 7, 1978 in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, making him 44 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.89 meters or 6 feet 2 inches tall. Italian is his favorite food, he mainly enjoys pizza. Football is his favorite sport, he's a big fan of country music, he's a huge fan of The Bachelor. Ashton Kutcher received widespread criticism for his appearance in a Pop Chips ad campaign in May 2012. The campaign featured Kutcher as an Indian man named Raj who was looking for love in a dating ad style spoof. Kutcher's use of brown face paint and a stereotypical Indian accent received backlash from online viewers and members of the Indian American community. He trains in the martial art of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and is a brown belt under Regan Machado. In April 2012, Kutcher became the 500th paying customer to sign up to ride Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2. On April 16, 2009, Kutcher became the first Twitter user to reach more than 1 million followers, beating CNN in the site's Million Followers Contest. However, there have been several reports that Twitter manipulated the contest results by preventing users from unfollowing Kutcher or CNN. In August 2022, Kutcher revealed that two years earlier, he'd been diagnosed with vasculitis, which had impaired his hearing, vision, and mobility during the course of a year. A less lasting romantic relationship of Kutcher's was thrust into the spotlight in 2019 under tragic circumstances when Kutcher testified at the trial of one Michael Gargiulo, who was charged with the murder of Ashley Ellerin, whom Kutcher dated briefly in 2001. Ashton Kutcher famously married actress Demi Moore in 2005, the couple divorced about six years later. In 2012, he started dating Mila Kunis, one of his former co-stars on that 70s show. After they became engaged in February 2014, she gave birth to a daughter in October 2014. The two married in July 2015. She gave birth to a son in November 2016. That are well-known or celebrities that are like, feel like they're like celebrating during this time. We're like, uh, hold on, Th this isn't like a celebration time. Kutcher was born to Diane, a Procter & Gamble employee, and Larry M. Kutcher, a factory worker. Kutcher studied biochemical engineering at the University of Iowa before he dropped out to move to New York City and pursue a modeling career, which soon led to success in photo shoots and on the runway for Calvin Klein. He actually has a twin brother named Michael, who was born with cerebral palsy. But with more ambitions in his heart than a career as a fashion model, he made another career change and moved out to Los Angeles to try acting. A successful audition allowed him to make his way onto the popular Fox sitcom That 70s Show as breakout character Kelso, the role that rocketed him to stardom. Kutcher's work on That 70s Show made him a sought-after comedy star in Hollywood. During the run of that series, he starred in Dude, Where's My Car with Sean William Scott in 2000, Just Married with Brittany Murphy in 2003, and the Guess Who's Coming to Dinner remake, Guess Who, in 2005. It was during this time that he made an uncredited appearance in another studio comedy remake, Cheaper by the Dozen, and he also attempted to branch into more serious roles, 
by starring in The Butterfly Effect, a science fiction time travel drama in 2004. In 2003, Kutcher launched what would possibly become his greatest contribution to popular culture with the MTV original series Punked. He produced and hosted the series, which featured him orchestrating a variety of elaborate hidden camera pranks on his celebrity friends, and he parlayed his success with the show into executive producer credits on a variety of other MTV reality shows, including Beauty and the Geek, Adventures in Hollywood, The Real Wedding Crashers, and a game show called Opportunity Knox. In 2006, Kutcher had to scale back to fewer appearances on the final season of that 70s show due to a scheduling conflict with his role in the action drama The Guardian, instead appearing as a special guest star. And in 2017, he made a guest appearance on the popular reality TV dating competition show The Bachelor. On April 30th, 2022, it was announced that Kutcher would have a guest appearance in the follow-up sitcom That 90s Show. If you, you know, like we are appreciating like right teachers. now, it's Teachers Appreciation Week. So yep. we toast to teachers. At his peak on the series Two and a Half Men, Ashton earned a salary of $800,000 per episode. That worked out to roughly $20 million per season, which at one time made him the highest paid actor on television. Ashton Kutcher has also distinguished himself in the world of venture capital. Through his venture capital firm A-Grade Investments, Ashton has made early investments in startups like Uber, Airbnb, Spotify, Shazam, SoundCloud, Neighborly, Zenreach, ResearchGate, Kapari Beauty, and Insertech service Lemonade. According to one report, Ashton and his team turned $30 million worth of investments into $250 million in assets. He also owns a Los Angeles Italian restaurant called Dolce with his former That 70s Show co-stars Danny Masterson and Wilmer Valderrama. He has a net worth of $200 million. Given Ashton Kutcher's success in the investment world, it's no surprise that he's reportedly been a mover and shaker in real estate as well. In March 2012, he paid $8.455 million for a modern home in the Hollywood Hills. He listed this property for sale in early 2014 for $12 million. In August 2014, he accepted $9.925 million. In May 2014, Ashton and Mila paid $10.2 million for a home in Beverly Hills. Built in 1999, it sits on half an acre of land and features five bedrooms, a personal gym, a sauna room, and a temperature-controlled wine room. The living room features French windows and a large fireplace, while the kitchen features white countertops and a large island. Mahogany paneled walls and oak flooring decorate the office space, along with beautiful moldings found throughout the property. They listed the home in 2020 for a little under $14 million. They ultimately accepted $10.35 million in January 2022. In June 2017, they paid $10 million for a beachfront home in Carpinteria, California, near Santa Barbara. The property is made up of two houses spread across a combined 3,100 square feet of interior living space. Their primary home is a six-acre property in Beverly Hills that was photographed for Architectural Digest in August 2021. He owns the following cars, a Chevrolet Volt, a Toyota Go to Prius. A Lexus LS Hybris. A Mercedes SLK. Impala SS, a Fisker Karma, a Tesla Model S.